Do you have anything? Because you, you're empty on, on the old production notes here. Yeah, I haven't put anything down because I've been playing old old championship manager games. Um, I, I mean, I, to... I, will accept, I will accept a 10 minute segment on championship manager. Yeah, let me tell you about Cherno Samba. No, um, I have been playing Championship Manager 2001, 2002, which is arguably the best one, and Championship Manager 2010, which was the last one. Is that before um, the creative team left and started making Football Manager? No, so that was kind of like post merger. But I, I have a real soft spot for Championship Manager 2010 because it came out right at the start of my last year of uni. Um, and me and my friend Adam Walker just played the living fuck out of that game um, like played it so much and it came out on Mac as well which was good because we all had Macs and stuff because we did like music technology degrees and making music and audio and video editing is just much much easier and more straightforward to do on a Mac um, so we all had Macs and Championship Manager was on Mac so I was like yeah perfect because I don't think Football Manager that version of Football Manager was at the time so that's why I played it but um, yeah I just thought Oh man, I've got like a real hankering to play a, a a football manager game, but I just the modern football manager is it just so complex? Yeah, the, just there's just so much in there. Like, yeah, just to a degree where I'm like, I don't need this much. You know, I like to keep it simple. I want to keep it light. I want to keep it enjoyable. And I don't mind watching other people play football, uh, football manager games and stuff like on, on YouTube videos or like there's a guy who does like a whole, you know, I want to take a team from like the bottom of the league all the way to the top of the league series called Park to Prem on YouTube, which is pretty good. Um, and I don't mind watching that. It's cool. But he skips all of the bullshit. So you just see like a few games that he commentates over and then he tells you about what transfers he has. That's the experience that's I want it. From the That's game. all you want from them? Yeah. Did you ever play uh, Premier, was it Premier League Manager on the... Premier, Premier player, Manager on PlayStation. On the first PlayStation, yeah. Yes, yes I, had I had it. I loved it. Incredible. That's all it was. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do, do you well. think, though... Do you think, though, the, uh, the the kind of added complications and complexities to what Football Manager is now is because there is, like, the, the more accessible streamlined version as well? So it's like, all right, well, we have that for anyone who just wants to kind of dive in. I think it's like the mobile version um, yeah, that also exists. But even that, I'm like, I don't really get on with that. Like, I want I want to play it on a, on a, on a PC, like, or, or, a, you know, or a Mac. I don't want to play it, like, on my phone. Because it will just kill the battery of my phone anyway. And when I'm on my phone playing a game, I I'm not usually playing it for like more than five ten minutes. Um, you know, like between train stations or something on the way to football. Clearly not into a Marvel Snap. Yeah, exactly. So I uh, <laughs> I I just yeah I, I wanted to play a, a football manager game. So I thought like, well, I love these old championship manager games. So I went back and I played some championship manager 2001, 2002. I played some championship manager 2010, and you know. I still really like both of those games and they they gave me the exact itch that I needed to scratch in a sort of like post game of the year um, thing. I started playing Xenoblade and then didn't, haven't fully committed to it. And I do want to go back to that, but you know, I just, I just fancy playing some football manager and, and I was like, mm, I can't get to the new football manager. So I'm going to go back to championship manager pre pre split version and post split version. And, they're both still pretty good. But yeah, the 2010 was the one they kind of gave up on where they were like, no, nah, fuck this. Championship manager's dead now. Um, but I, I still really have a lot of affection for that Championship Manager 2010 game. And it's fun to go back and see players that they thought were going to be like these massive, you know, stars, like Titanic stars of football, like John Bostock. <laughs> he was just like, yeah, oh yeah, he's going to be the next thing. He just wasn't. Um, or like, oh, what's the Everton midfielder? Um, like Everton Man City midfielder. Um, Jack what, Rodwell. Jack Rodwell. Yeah, like he turns into one of the best players in the world in that game. Or Adol Tarapt turns into Jesus one of the best Christ. players in the world in that game. Um, yeah, and I just think it's really cool. Like you're living out this alternative version of reality. Because I got to like, I think like five or six seasons in into 2016, and the, these guys were just like ruling, ruling world football. And you're like, mm, yeah, this didn't happen. Uh, yeah, so it's fun, fun, fun times. Um, but nothing, uh, nothing new and interesting really. Just you know, just something to kind of keep my brain occupied um, with some football related context. I don't really buy or play FIFA anymore either. So in terms of my football video games, I I, I started this um, podcast as like the sports game guy and I've fallen off sports games just so, so hard in the last few years. Um, Is that, that just sucks. because of the, the, the annual turnout of them mm. and the sort of lack of 
like advancement with them that it's yeah. like why would i buy uh fifa 21 and then fifa 22 because it is the same game with a slightly different skin on it pretty much and you know i got really into ultimate team the last version of fifa i played in and i was like i need to not do this because i'm spending <laughs> all of my money on it um and the same with madden as well um you, know, you can play you can play some fun games of madden and then yeah you just it's always funneling you into that you don't have to do it but I always found myself like kind of unable to resist that because it's just like, you know, it's like playing top trumps or something where you're kind of building this card based thing, you know, like the same thing you guys are experiencing with Marvel Snap where you're like unlocking your cards and you can use them in, in your in your battles. It's the same thing with um, like, f- f- like FIFA on my team, but you just you start realizing like, how much money you're going to have to pile into it to play it. And yeah, that just put me off FIFA. Um and then yeah, the the around the same time the golf games got really bad, and uh, we had a golf game last year which was all right. It was it was kind of mid, but it was it was decent. Um, and you know, like EA are coming back with their next golf game, and yeah, just haven't played any of the wrestling games for a while either. Um, haven't really been tempted back into that. So yeah, I'm just kind of stuck. Um, if there was a really good cricket game, I would play it, but <laughs> it just isn't. <laughs> Not since Bryant Lara Cricket on the PlayStation. So <laughs> that's, that, that's kind of where I am with, with sports games. It's like, it used to be like this really strong foundational relationship. And, you know, now it's kind of slipped to just sort of playing old older sports games that I liked or like Mario based sports games. And that's it. Have Sad. you used your uh, Steam Deck and done any sort of emulation with older sports games at all? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. C- come on now, yeah. But it's not what I'm talking about, you know. Like me playing Toadstool Tour again. Um, no, I, I was talking more stuff like Pro Evolution, um, the the more kind of sim based stuff. Uh, played a bit of Pro Evo. Went back and played the Tiger, the first Tiger Woods Masters Edition, um, where you like you first got to play around Augusta National. Um, God, I mean, this is going to get nerdy. I'm a big, I'm a big sports nerd. Um, but yeah, like that was really cool as well, playing that again. And I just remember thinking these games used to be so fucking good. And then EA just gave up on it. And I remember like one of my first appearances on this podcast was absolutely burying that EA um, Rory McIlroy game six feet deep and just saying how fucking terrible the whole experience was. Um, but yeah, it's it's it, it's cool to go back and stuff and dabble in these old um, Pro Evos, FIFAs, Tiger Woodses and stuff. But yeah, there's nothing... There's nothing new in the sort of sports game world that's come out that's really excited me for a while. I need to play Sports Story, though. That's that's on the pad to play. 